is the Juist software better than Virtual DJ? Let's find out. Hi there, my name is Kaysam and this is going to be a honest walkthrough on this Juist software that comes with the Hercules DJ controller. In comparison to Virtual DJ, and it's going to be up to you to judge which one of them is better for you. Now when you just launch the software, this comes in three modes. There's a controller mode which works only if you have the controller plugged in. There is an offline mode which we shall be working with. And then there is unlock. I think this is somewhere that you have to purchase the pro version. Let's go offline. So we're going to compare a few parts of it. We shall look at the effects. We shall look at the mixer section, the library, and something to do with keyboard mappings for those who don't have controllers because we are offline. All right, so looking at the effects, you come right here, you find the effect. And it has three slots just like Virtual DJ. And what is amazing is that some of these effects are not found in Virtual DJ except you install them as extensions. For example, the gate. There's a lot actually I did not have to try through all these. But then what I have liked is that you have to turn it on and then there is this one here, this, this knob here which allows you to control how much of each of these you want, dry and wet, how much of each of these effects you want. To even make it better, you can also turn this on, which is called macro effect, and you can control all the three effects together. You can also edit how much control you want this to affect each effect, which is a very cool thing for me. You will get the software and then try the effects one by one and everything that I've just tried by yourself. I'm going to leave it in the description of this video and also on my telegram channel in the description down below that is something to do with the effects still on the effects we shall go to the mixer section we shall jump right in to the deck color effects we call them deck color effects in virtual dj right here it's called filter it also has some nice effects here actually let me just use this deck too because they have sample songs already loaded I don't know why it's not playing though. Output device disconnected. Please reconnect. All right. Let's go to settings. This should be V8 because that's what I'm using right now. Okay, let's play. some amazing effects right here I think this is quite related to virtual DJ time gate the only difference is that they work with the filter high pass effect that high pass filter there if you realize it all these effects work like that they have the gate and then the filter working on the song I hope you realized it all right so another thing which I liked from this mixer section is that the EQ kill the Kill I, kill mid, and kill low is not a script. It's actually these little dots here, I mean boxes. Once you click right there, it kills that particular parameter, the equalizer, right? Equalizer. Yeah, it's not my language. So you can also change. Let me try something. If you double click, it actually resets the same for virtual DJ. And so instead of writing a script to kill one of these, you just have this box here. You just click and then you kill the real thing. If that is better than Virtual DJ, please let me know down below. Let's move away from there. We are trying to keep this video as short as possible. We're going to jump into the library and we have it right here. I think we can adjust this just like Virtual DJ also. I see playlists. I've not added any yet. It says ready. I don't know what that is. Explorer. I think these are my own songs. Sampler. I think it comes with some sample packs. Yep, we have shots and beats. New packs, I added these. Shots and beats, you can just drag this to the deck and then you have the samples open. And then what I also like is that you can quantize the samples to the deck and then you can also set, you can look at some more settings. You you, you really see that by yourself. What is interesting is that you can load save these samples directly into your PC, but also they come as DJ Z. And then 
still on the library we have a connection to apple music yep i think you need to have internet to access that title and all that this is still pretty much the same as virtual dj something that i haven't liked before we leave this interface this real deck here does not the jog wheel doesn't scratch if you're using the mouse it only works if you drag the wave form once again it's not putting out sound i really can't tell what is wrong at this moment i think i have killed all this wow the, the interface is quite tricky <laughs> It has some nice scratch sound though. I think the scratch sensitivity is cool. This would be nice for those who want to scratch on keyboards. I don't know. Let's let's just move away from here. I think I'm trying to be fast. I it has something to do with MIDI. I haven't seen Virtual DJ telling this on on the outer part of it. Let's go to the settings right away. So, where we shall be going next is something to do with keyboards there is mapping and then there is keyboard mapping i think is for controllers and now we don't have a controller connected so we can't do much with it we can only import any mapping that we have let's do the keyboard thing so if you look at this it has a simpler language to understand than virtual dj script to me because you can only say channel you name the channel and then you, you name the action whatever it is for example channel 2 which I don't know, by the way. I don't know channel 2. Is it deck 2 or deck 1? And then the action is equal to browser load deck value is equal to auto. The channel is 2. The action is browser load deck. And the value is automatic. You can take your time and understand that later. I don't know if they have a documentation of this. But then, how do we add new new mappings, though? We have these open spaces here. The... the the action is equal to nothing, nothing, and nothing, and nothing. So you can add them here. You can add different other keys right in here. And also, I have two keyboards connected. I don't know if they will do the same thing. I'll try that later. But then to add a new function and a new keyboard mapping right here, you have to double-click on any of these empty spaces. I think you can also double-click here to change. Yep. So you double-click on the empty space. You press it says press key so you press any key for example e and then you have to write the script by double clicking it so what if you still don't know the language i think you can easily just come to keyboard learn and then we want to use letter e to play any of these samples wow this is a deal breaker here it doesn't have to do the action straight away because key learn is already doing an action Anyway, we say OK. So letter E. It is typing right away here. I don't know. I don't know if there's a setting for that. If there's no setting for that, then Virtual DJ is better than this. Because in Virtual DJ, you just have a setting that does away with this. So let's just have click somewhere, though. So letter E is working. Let's try another thing. Sit on the keyboard. Let's change the function of letter R because R here is set to sample load and play. Okay, let's just double click, change that to D as well, and we say okay. Once again, it's typing, so you have to come and click somewhere first. It was doing the same thing, so this is basically how you do the keyboard mapping. Though, you just have to double click, press a key that you want to map, say keyboard learn. For example, let, let's say Q, this of deck 2, say OK, and then you just, I don't know what letter that was, I forgot. That was F, and then you just press the letter and play. Once again, you have to click somewhere. I think there is a lot of settings to explore though yeah the keyboard mapping for me is quite easier than virtual dj if you're somebody who doesn't want to write the script and all that you can just do the keyboard mapping but i think there are other settings to explore i think for the interest of time we're going to maybe do a part two of this video we don't have to make it so long there is still the crossfader more settings on the mixer 
there is audio sound, audio settings we have to really talk about this thank you so much if you've watched up to this moment i think by now you can tell whether this is better for you than virtual dj or virtual dj is still the game changer for you thank you so much for watching please make sure you subscribe share this video leave a like leave a comment i will see you in the next one peace out